great pleasure to welcome you to the Expert Forum Adaptation and Mitigation Finance. Our intention with the Expert Forum Adaptation and Mitigation Finance is to create a format that allows participants to engage with policymakers, academics and investors on climate finance. The vast majority of the decarbonization effort will come from private sector investments. And the key question that we're discussing with Ajay Banga and many others is how can we reduce the funding cost um, and the, the perception of riskiness that is implicit in financing spreads that are so vital for the levelized cost of energy comparison. As an institutional investor, uh, Meridium really look at how it could work better with the public sector because I think ultimately most of those projects are not necessarily bankable and we need some sort of concessional funding coming from the public sector. I think we clearly don't see enough adaptation finance being um, crowded into the space. And I think uh, taking a step back, when we look at development, for us it really is about, for, especially for least and low income countries, about three things, which is human development, poverty reduction, adaptation and climate resilience and mitigation of course as well. But I spend a dollar on a seawall today and I save myself seven dollars of flooding costs down the road. The private sector doesn't fund where there's no revenues and they can't capitalize long-term future savings especially in developing countries. So that's where we need to lend cheaply to governments for them to make that investment. Long-term, low-cost lending. Thank <laughs> you.